Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. I'm at the airport and we're on our way to Hong Kong in a couple of hours. This is my first time ever going to Hong Kong. We're going to Hong Kong for three days and then Shenzhen for a couple of days and then going to my dad's hometown and then my mom's hometown in China. And I'm so excited because I haven't been back to China since before the pandemic. So it's been like four years. Doing a layover in Seoul for a couple of hours and then we'll be in Hong Kong around 10 p.m. tomorrow. Under the stars, you pack up your car Cause you're going far away from here mm -hmm. I wish I could stall, but I never call And you're going all the way this year mm -hmm. If I could tell We are finally in Hong Kong. I'm so tired. It feels so good to be back in Asia. We made it to our hotel. Oh my gosh, my voice is so hoarse. We finally made it to our hotel. It is past midnight. Gonna get washed up really quickly and go to bed because it is way past time for that. But wanted to do a quick hotel room tour. Here is the front entrance. So many mirrors. We just have a bed that I'm sharing with my sister and a sitting area over here. I think there's a view. So I'll show you guys tomorrow morning when it's light, but. Ooh, you can't see Hong Kong in the distance. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to be back in Asia. It's hitting me. And then the bathroom looks like this. Wow, so many mirrors. My first time in here as well. All right, I am going to wash up and go to bed because we have an early start tomorrow and I'm so tired. First night in Hong Kong. See you guys in the morning. about to head out for the day. I am so hungry right now. I feel like because I'm jet lagged and my body is not used to eating. I ate like five meals yesterday, but I'm still so hungry right now. So we're about to go get dim sum. Dim sum is like one of my favorite foods of all time and Hong Kong is known for the dim sum. I think it currently is monsoon season in Hong Kong. So there's like a 90% chance of rain every day. It is currently a clear and kind of sunny morning. It's not supposed to rain until maybe three or 4 p.m. today. So fingers crossed that we don't get caught in the rain outside. Quick outfit of the day. This is a vest from a store called Blossom H in Seoul that I got this time last year actually when I was in Korea. And then skirt is from Revolve. Yeah, super simple outfit. It is supposed to be windy later, so hopefully the skirt is okay, but. Dim sum. There are 40 tables ahead of us. You can see it is on 33 right now. It was actually 20 something when we just got here. And there's a table like 70. Can I say hi to vlog? Vlog, this is my sister Marissa.
Chinese because I've never tried chicken feet before. I'm going to try it for the first time because why not? We're immersing ourselves in the culture. This is a dim sum classic. It's like chicken feet in some sauce. I'm so scared. Just finished in some. How was it? Excellent. Very excellent. Very nostalgic. Loved it. And we are now on our way to coffee because I have not had white tea. But other than that, I haven't had caffeine today yet. Tea doesn't count. No, coffee doesn't. only. next door that sells all the cups. grocery store, grab some water. It's actually really interesting. You like walk in from the street. Can you guys see? The street's literally right there. You just walk downstairs and underground and you're in a grocery store. find the observation deck which you have to pay to get up. Oh. Apparently you can see 360 degree views of Hong Kong up there so let's go.
you guys. It's so windy. Apparently there's supposed to be a typhoon. There's supposed to be a typhoon today, so that's wonderful. This hair is literally crazy. The view is gorgeous though. It's just crazy windy. We just fought a battle, oh my goodness. ready for dinner. This is the outfit. Super cute set that I got in Seoul last summer. I think my entire summer wardrobe is from Seoul, but that is just how it goes because I'm very short and the clothes in Asia fit me better. You can't really see that well in the sliding, but this like teal colored set that I love with some Zara heels and Dior bag. And we are going to a Cantonese restaurant. It is just downstairs in our hotel. I am really starting to feel the jet lag. So hopefully I'm not too tired to enjoy the food, but I will probably knock out after I get back. Good morning everyone, it is day two in Hong Kong. It's actually our last full day as well. We are only here for two days all in all, so it is truly typhooning outside today. Let me see if I can show you guys. The winds from yesterday are back today, except everywhere on ground level this time. So we are probably gonna spend most of the day indoors. So far, absolutely loving Hong Kong. I could see myself spending a decent amount of time here. Um, I love the vibes. Outfit of the day is this top from an Indonesian brand called Cloud. And then the trousers are the ones I always wear from Seoul, of course. I also did not sleep very well yesterday. I woke up at 2 a.m. from jet lag and then I could not fall back asleep feeling the need for coffee. So sad guys. The cafe is actually closed today. I think because the typhoon is about to hit Hong Kong. Like an actual typhoon is about to hit. A lot of businesses are closed today. A couple of hours have passed, spent a while just editing on the couch. <sighs> the family wants to go for a, well the parents want to go for a walk. 
I'm a bit skeptical because there's a 70% chance of rain in 20 minutes. But the people out there seem to be surviving okay. So we will give it a shot. Threw the hair up to avoid a situation such as yesterday's. We are ready to brave the outdoors. are back from our crazy walk. We have to eat inside the hotel for the whole day today because nothing is open. So we're at the second floor restaurant. We got a berry antioxidant smoothie. I'm so hungry because we haven't eaten since the toast for breakfast. It's like a weird hour. It's like four, so there's no one here. We have this whole place to ourselves. It is our last few hours in Hong Kong. We are off to get Mox noodles, really famous like Hong Kong style wonton noodle soup. And then also, hello Mu. <laughs> also gonna go grab a coffee on the way because I don't think the shop sells coffee. And then today we're off to Shenzhen, which is really exciting. I've never been, yeah, crossing into mainland today. We pretty much are all packed up and ready to go. So I will see you guys at coffee. Sometimes I run out of things to say. It turns out. 